Hi there, my name is Blair Cofield. I'm a volunteer here at the Ontario Regiment Museum. And this vehicle that I'm standing on is a AVGP, or Armored Vehicle General Purpose. Uh, they were used by the Canadian Forces in the 70s, 80s, and uh, were retired in the late 80s or early 90s. Uh, it is a six-wheel drive, uh, six-wheel uh, wheeled vehicle. Um, this specific one is a uh, Grizzly, which means it has the machine gun turret, which can fit a 50 cal and a 30 cal. Um, the other variants are the Husky, the armored recover, recovery variant, and the Cougar, uh, which has a low velocity 76 millimeter cannon. Um, so they all have the same power pack. They all have the same hull. Uh, they're made to float. That's why they are in kind of a boat shape. And they're all powered by the Detroit Diesel 6V53T. So 6 stands for cylinders, V is configuration, 53 is the cubic inch displacement um, of each cylinder, and then T for turbo. So I'm standing at the front of the engine right now. Um, what was wrong with this vehicle is it was leaking fuel into the oil. So we've had a few problems with these Detroits because they have fuel crossover tubes uh, under the rocker cover, and they're basically a U-shaped tube, and they go from a common rail to the injector and then back to the return rail. Uh, for lack of a better term. And what happens is the nuts on the end of these tubes can uh, wiggle loose with engine vibrations or just wear with age because it is an engine. So you get the heat cool, heat cool. Um, so what happens when you leak fuel in the oil? Well, the oil becomes very thin and especially on turbocharged engines, that is no good because you cannot get good oil flow or oil pressure to the turbo uh, bearing. Um, so we needed to fix this issue quickly. Uh, this issue was happening around Remembrance Day of 2023. It's now March of 2024. Uh, we pulled it in a few weeks ago. Um, we've already been at work. So what we have done so far is removed the valve covers, uh, drained the coolant, drained the old oil. Uh, we've removed these two coolant rails that each go across the top, which make it very cumbersome to remove the valve covers. And we have tightened down the fuel crossover nuts. So we have uh, four nuts and two tubes per cylinder. And we've had to go over on both sides. Um, it's easier on this side to get into the driver's seat and tighten them, but we've had to go in, uh, cut apart box end wrenches to um, fit them over the tube and tighten. And we ran it to ensure that there was no further leakage. So with these crossover tubes, if when you tighten them down and they're loose, you'll be able to see bubbling while they are loose. And when you tighten them down, there should be no bubbling or squirting or anything of fuel coming out of these. So right now we're going to um, throw the valve covers back on, fill the coolant back up, fill the oil, uh, put everything together and take it out for a test run. So um, follow the Ontario Regiment Museum on Facebook and Instagram for more content like this and uh, to see what other maintenance projects we're up to.